All right, everybody. It's here once again from We Are Change and BAP Nation. I want to share something with you. Uh, I did my last book review about two months ago. I want to do another one. This one is entitled The Glad Tidings of the Messiah. Now, usually when you hear a word like Messiah, you think of Jesus, uh, God's promise to bring a sacrifice in order to um, get humanity and God back together. Um, I don't really want to get deeply into that, but I do want to comment on this book. First of all, uh, it's from the, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say the name properly, but it's from the Harun Yahya Library. And uh, these books are available, and I will get you in touch with the, if you send me an email at admin at wispin.com, or if you uh, chime into uh, our, our network, which is at bapnation.com, I will get you in touch with the people that you need to speak to. Um, the, I've met so many wonderful and amazing, beautiful people. Uh, that are part of this organization and part of this movement, I uh, um, I would definitely love to sit down at the table, especially with the author. Um, this guy's written an incredible number of books, which leads me to believe that A, he's very intelligent, uh, and B, that he has a lot to say. So I would definitely love... Uh, if I ever get the opportunity, if it, if it presents itself, to sit down with the author of the book. You know, look at this. The Quranic account of Jesus' ascent to God's presence. Do you understand that what, what Islam really truly does is affirm Christianity? The real Christianity, not the Council of Nicaea version of Christianity, um, but it also affirms the traditional uh, tell, the the... the Jewish religion, not the, not the, I'm going to say it, um, it's, it's like religion itself has been under attack for many years. Uh, obviously, the Jewish religion was first, and so they were the first to be attacked. And, and now you have people who claim to be Jewish, but do not behave in the way of the word of God. Uh, based upon uh, the Old Testament, which is, you know, the precursor to the Bible. And then the Bible, uh, through the Council of Nicaea, uh, we don't know exactly transpired there, and I'm not really satisfied with the Vatican holding secrets. So, um, the reason, and, and, and the reason why I'm a Christian is because I believe that it does answer the question of sin, but I will not denounce God's word, whether it be the Jewish version, the Christian version, or the Islamic version, because any piece of truth spoken is the word of God. And so I, as a, as a truther, I seek diligently the word of God, and I have no problem um, in, engaging in these dialogues. Uh, and, and that's why... I'm really excited about this book. I, I just finished it. Um, and there's some really, really good stuff in here. Uh, I mean, th they have a library that's... You can spend the next 20 years of your life reading this stuff, and it's good for the soul. It's how a seed needs water, and how a seed needs soil, and how a seed then grows and needs the sun. We need to seek spiritual enlightenment outside of ourselves and ask those questions and get into those conversations. And so I enjoy greatly reading uh, intellectual works uh, by Muslims and by Jews as well. And I believe that there is a spiritual connection between the three of us that we can tap into. In fact, I would highly recommend that we do such things ASAP because the way the world is going, the direction that we're headed, 
if we don't start engaging in this dialogue now, there won't be a tomorrow in which to have these discussions. So uh, this is my rant of the day, uh, The Glad Tidings of the Messiah. Again, this is one of the books you can get from the, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it wrong, Harun Yaya. And I will get you in touch with these people. And we will be adding a link on BAP Nation soon so that you can actually go see some of their videos and, some, and, and order some of their books. And um, because it is information. It doesn't mean full-heartedly that BAP Nation uh, believes every single word in every one of their books. I'm not saying that I haven't even read them all yet, so I can't even make a claim like that. It would be irresponsible of me. However, the people that I've met through this group are just amazing people, and I love them, and uh, there's a lot of wisdom, and you know, uh, the, the dialogue. That's what we're going to work on. We're going to talk about these things. And I just wanted to say, uh, feel free to check these books out. And I will engage in conversation with you as well. So if, even if you don't agree with it, at least give it the opportunity for you to, to read it and digest the information. So, again, one last time. One more shout out. And this is for you, Melis. I love you. Um, the Glad Tidings of the Messiah from the Harun Yahya Library. Um, Muslim-based amazingness. And you look at these books, and they're just, they're put together so well. They're so gorgeous. The trim, the pictures, the colors, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. And they're very, very uplifting, very intellectual, very spiritual, and they really lend themselves to a Christian-based reader. So if you are a Christian and you want to understand more about the Muslim faith, it, it is a good series of books and I recommend that you check those out. Again, this is Eric Sayward from We Are Change and Bat Nation. As you can see, I'm a little scruffy today, but it is what it is. And I love you guys. Thank you for paying attention.